middies and defenders and the forwards it was like 60 metres and we couldn't bridge that gap. Like you can see tees, one and a half and then you can support trust our system. I just think the the hunger of the group was was one thing that I was looking forward to see. Now it's it's difficult just having seen one session, but um, from speaking to the guys, they've been training together, you know, at least a couple of weeks before the the preseason even started. And then the the fight for positions is going to be really interesting for me. I think there's now a situation where there's genuine A graders across each line, so how everyone fits and gels into the side will be will be interesting to see um, for me and. And just how the group responds from the extra scrutiny that they will get, you know, finishing second or third in minor round last year and having two home finals, other teams are going to come and try and beat the Lions at their own game. So how they respond to that is going to be interesting to me, but um, it was a really solid hit out and um, I was pretty impressed. Uh, right, so we, we had the, the um, match simulation today. The boys are cooked, end of the week. Um, had a really good hit out tired but um, we we're eagerly awaiting what our surprise team activity would be and um, we got the text after the meeting that we're going to head down to the DSS Yacht Club and we had to race, do a legitimate race with all the boats that they have there and they're, they're legitimate racing boats, they've all at least competed or won in the, in the Sydney to Hobart, uh, legitimate crews, all great people. We didn't really know what to expect, um, not a lot of us are water people, myself ex included. And I don't make it. I'm not a big ocean guy. I don't make it. Um, just say hello to my dog Ralph. Tell him I miss him. I love him. Um, um, this is. Um, I'm quite terrified, to be honest with you. I'm not a big boat guy. We'd be sailing beautifully. It's fine. Next thing you know, the boat's on a 90 degree angle. Boys, bodies are flying everywhere. In our team, we had Zorks on the ropes. Um, I got to steer the thing. Rumour will have it that I tried to kill us, but that's not true. That's fake news. I I just didn't know which way was left or right because it's, it's opposite, but uh, that's another story for another day. Yeah, we, we had a great time and um, loved it. it. It really makes us think, uh, have a newfound respect for the sailors and what they go through, particularly um, in those longer races and stuff. So it was, it was a really good day, we loved it. Oh my god, Come Get it, nose!
<laughs> awesome. <laughs> Loved it. Well, we made it back. I think we were first place. Best teamwork, best sportsmanship. <laughs> best on, easy. Best on. Yeah, the first pre-season camp was, uh, was great. Um, got to experience new things. Um, bond with uh, other players as well, bit, on a deeper level, I guess. Getting to meet them. And, um, no, it was great, great overall camp. So. Um, it was good fun, firstly. But yeah, it was pretty intense. Um, lots of things going on, but I think just getting to know a lot more of the boys, like on a personal level, connecting with some of the boys. Um, that, I enjoyed that, yeah. Favourite part? Probably the match sims, um, but also sailing. Sailing was a was something different. So you, you got to experience different things. You, you sort of sit there and just realise how, how hard sailing is, like the teamwork that they um, do to, I guess, get to start start to finish. So um, and that sort of translates into what we want to do on a football field. So yeah, that was that was pretty enjoyable as well. Favorite part of the camp um, with the footy stuff, I'd probably say the match play. That was good fun, but. The car rides there with the boys was always, that was always something different, it was really fun. Oi! <laughs>